Hello everyone, this is Mark Van Dwetering of the Brain Wagon blog. Uh, say hello to Tux. Hi Tux. Pat, pat, pat. Oh. And um, so, uh, Addy over at the uh, Toymakers blog um, was interested in possibly making herself her own capacitor. And uh, you can do this actually pretty simply. And this is one that I made. I just took uh, a couple of pieces of uh, aluminum foil and just taped these down to uh, some wax paper. So there's a piece on the back, oops, piece on the back side, and a piece on the front side. And I taped two wires to them so that I could, uh, could hook them up to a circuit. And I don't know, they're maybe four by six inches, about the size of a note card. And I wired this up to a uh, 555 timer circuit. Uh, it's just the A-stable multi-vibrator circuit that uh, I've used before. And um, it's just used as the timing capacitor for the circuit. And let's see if I can prod this. If I pick up the output on pin 3, you can see that, indeed, over on my oscilloscope, it's acting as a capacitor. Now, if I hold on, let's see if I can do this one-handed. I'm sorry, this is going to be a very crude video. Let's see if I can poke this in. Okay, that looks good. Now, if I actually touch the capacitor, and this is I'm making the uh, the leaves a little bit closer by making sure the ends are pushed down, I get a little more capacitance that lowers the frequency, and then when I let go, it raises it up. All I'm doing here is just touching this part here. Sorry, I can't get this all in one shot, but if I touch it, you can see that and sometimes it kind of goes wonky on me. I'm not quite sure why that is. But anyway, so this is effectively a capacitor. Um, if I knew the right math, I could probably come up with exactly what the capacitance is. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's it's in the pr it's probably oscillating around a few hundred kilohertz. I have uh, two 1k ohm uh, resistors in place to serve as the voltage divider for the thing. So uh, I predicted it would be around 300 kilohertz. Oh, let's see, can I actually figure this out? Let's see, that's two tenths of a microsecond, so that's uh, one microsecond per division. So that's about, that's right around, well actually it's about one megahertz. But uh, if I press this down a little bit more, it obviously extends quite a bit to about 500 kilohertz. So anyway, this is just a quick little experiment. I hope Addy enjoyed this. She's apparently making a big one out of, uh, of two feet of, of uh, aluminum foil because uh, she doesn't have an oscilloscope to measure this stuff with. But uh, you can see that uh, it works pretty well. Um, I don't know why you'd want to do this. I do have a book by H.P. Uh, Friedrichs called Voice of the Crystal where he actually makes all of the condensers for his crystal radios by just this kind of technique, although he usually rolls them up rather than keeping them plate parallel like this. He uh, puts them in uh, in a roll, sort of like a, well, uh, like a jelly roll. And uh, But uh, anyway, well this is just something I tinkered together in 20 minutes or so just to serve as some kind of inspiration. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. This is Mark Van de Wettering of the Brain Wagon Blog. Hope you're all having a good night.